Welcome to our Infinity Dock System pricing. In this video, we will cover the Infinity Dock System parts and pieces, as well as how to get started on configurations. The RS4 is a rail side dock system that's four inches tall. When you order an RS4 dock frame bundle, it includes two Infinity leg pockets, two Infinity foot pads, and a hardware bag. The hardware bag includes all of the fasteners to assemble the dock, two connector clips, two blue caps, and four gray caps. In addition to the frames, you will need to add the leg posts and decking. The leg posts are available in 3, 5, 7, 9, and 12 foot lengths. You need to order one leg for each infinity leg pocket. We also offer the leg in a 20 foot length, allowing the legs to be cut to specific lengths. You will also need the decking panels that you want to use on the dock. The decking panels are all 2 feet by 45 inches and are interchangeable with all infinity dock systems. For example, on a 4 by 10 foot section, you will need 5 sections of decking. Here is an example of what the instructions look like. It shows the frame, the infinity leg pockets, and the foot pads. All of those items are included with the 4x10 frame. The items you must add are the deck panels and dock legs. The deck panels are again 2 feet by 45 inches. So for a 4 by 10 foot section, that would be 5 decking panels for each section. For the 45 and 90 degree sections, you will receive the frame and a hardware bag. The hardware bag is going to consist of two connector clips and the hardware to attach the clips to the frame. Depending on the configuration, you may need to add either a single or double leg pocket, leg post, foot pad, and then the appropriate decking panel. Unlike your 4x10 frames, these don't include leg pockets or foot pads. As we go further into the training, you'll see when to use those. The three foot corner section includes the frame and hardware bag. The hardware bag will include four connectors and the hardware to attach to the frame. This corner section does not use leg pockets or foot pads. As we move forward, we will show you how to mount and secure the section to the dock frame. In areas where you do not have deep water, we offer a short single leg pocket that is eight inches long. You can use the short single leg pocket closer to shore and in shallow areas where longer legs are not needed. The shorter legs do not need the added support from the struts. To connect a ramp, two accessory adapter brackets will be needed, whether it's an RS4, RS7, or TS9. Then you can connect your ramp right to the end of the dock section. Here are some configurations to show you what items we need to add to our cart. All these examples are using 4x10 sections to set up an L shape in separate ways. You can see where we have dock legs, connectors, and some additional items we may need. Remember, each section comes with two infinity dock leg pockets, two foot pads, and two connectors. For some configurations, you will have connectors left over. Save those for other layouts when you need additional connectors. For all of these examples, you will only need to order the leg posts and decking. On the example in the left-hand side, you can see there are two legs on the first two sections of the dock and three legs on the third. For this dock configuration, you will need one additional dock leg and one additional foot pad. On the next configuration, the setup is a little more intricate. Counting all frames, you will get 20 connector clips included. If you count up all the X's, you need 28. You'll need to have 8 additional dock connector clips. You can see where the dock connectors go, as well as the dock leg locations. We had enough infinity leg pockets and foot pads included for all of those sections so you do not have to buy any additional pockets or foot pads. You'll also need 14 leg posts. The length will be determined by the water depth you have at the job site. In this configuration, we show two methods to attach a curved section. Starting on the left, we have a 4 by 10 section with two legs at the end. Next is the 45 degree curve section. On the end of that, we'll put a double leg pocket attaching right to the first 4x10 section. 
That is one way to attach a curved section. Then we continue with another 4x10 with legs on it. On that second curved section, we will hang that section between two 4x10 dock sections. There are not any dock legs on that curve. That is the second way to attach a curved section. On the last 4x10 section, we will need two additional infinity leg brackets, foot pads, and leg posts. We believe, for installation purposes and removal, it is easier to put the double leg pocket on the curved section. That way, it's all self-supporting. Plus, you do not have to try to manhandle those sections around in the water to get them lined up perfectly. On this next configuration, we show how to attach a curved section of the side of the dock. You can see we've got the dock connectors of that second section of 4x10. These connectors are included with your frame. You can put the connectors either on the curved frame or the 4x10 frame. Either way will support your curved dock section. This configuration is a popular layout for the end of your dock, just to have some area out there for furniture or gathering. First, you can see all the connectors that we use. Also, for this layout, we've used the single leg pockets for a curved deck. If you look at the single leg pocket for a curved deck, you can see that the angle extends underneath the dock. That's designed to support the next curve section. If you come off the first 4x10, there's two dock connectors there. The first curve section will sit right in those two dock connectors and be supported along the four foot end. Then, on the other side of that curve section, we have a dock connector and the single leg pocket. That will support the other side of the curve frame. You can see in the center we have single connectors. Then, along the four foot end of the 4x10 is where you have two dock connectors to support those four foot edges. Here's a little more elaborate layout. We have four 4x10 sections and we showed you where you need all your dock connectors. We just want to ensure that everything is supported correctly. Next, we will do some exercises. We'll show you the layout and have you fill in where the connectors and dock legs should go. You can also use the price pages or dealer portal and fill in the part numbers and components that would be required. This is four 4x10 four sections with tan glacier decking. We have 7 foot water depth and 3 foot water depth. Pause the video to complete the exercise. For this layout, we have eight dock connectors. Since we have four sections of dock, all those dock connectors are included in the frame packages. We also have eight infinity leg pockets and foot pads. Again, since we have four sections of dock, all are included in those sections, so we don't have to add any additional ones there. We've used four 5-foot legs and four 9-foot legs based on the water depth. Those are additional items that you'd have to add to your cart. Then, the 20 tan glacier decking panels. Panel clips are included with each panel. You don't have to add any additional clips. This is a similar configuration with only a T on the end of it. We have included a 4x4 four four ramp and a 2-foot water depth near the shore and four foot water depth at the end of the dock. Pause the video to complete the exercise. For this layout, we have four dock connectors and 10 dock legs. Starting with the four by four ramp, we added both the ramp and the hinge that connects the ramp to the dock, as well as the two dock accessory brackets. On the shore end, where it is only two feet deep, we do not want to use the full-length infinity leg pockets. Instead, we used two single short leg pockets, each with extra foot pads. In the middle, we had four five-foot legs. At the end of the dock, we had to add a couple of leg pockets. On the T, we need four leg pockets, so we have two additional infinity leg pockets with their foot pads. Also, at the end of the dock, we had four seven-foot legs. In this layout, we would need 17 decking panels. Let's go on to the RS7 and TS9 frames. On the RS7 and the TS9, the big difference is the dock frames only come with a hardware bag. The leg pockets and foot pads are not included. 
you must build these sections a la carte. The reason for this is the RS-7 or TS-9 dock can be configured as a standing or wheel and style dock. Required to purchase separately are decking panels, infinity leg pockets, leg post, foot pads, screw legs at the proper length, and poly tires. For example, for a 4x16 wheeled in system, you will start with just your mainframe that comes with your hardware bag. The extra components you're going to need are the adjustable screw legs, which come in super shallow, shallow, standard, and deep water legs. For this example, we are using two standard water screw legs. We also need two poly tires. Then, the appropriate decking. All the decking is the same size used on the RS4 sections. For the 4x16 sections, we need eight panels. Using the same example, but as a standing, we will start with our 4x16 frame. The extra components we need are two infinity dock pockets, two infinity dock legs, two foot pads, and the appropriate decking. The components for an RS7 and TS9 are the same as an RS4. Let's go into some of the examples. For the dock on the left, we have two of the 4x16 sections, either RS7 or the TS9. Adjustable screw legs for poly tires. Adjustable screw legs are available in super shallow, shallow, standard, and deep water legs. They are marked in the price sheets and on the dealer portal for their minimum and maximum lengths. Those minimum and maximums are from the bottom of the tire to the bottom of the rail. You can use that to determine the height that your deck will be off the water. Then we have two poly tires out on the end. We would also have two legs at the 16 foot mark. So we have two leg pockets, two foot pads, and two dock legs. The dock leg length will depend on your water depth. Lastly, we have 16 decking panels. On the right, we have a parallel L layout with a corner. There are two 4x16 sections, one 4x8 section, and a 3-foot corner section. For this layout, we would need 8 connectors, all of which are included in the frame sections. What we would need in order to complete this layout is 2 adjustable screw legs, 2 poly tires, 3 infinity leg pockets, 3 foot pads, 3 leg posts and the 20 decking panels with one three-foot corner panel as well. Both designs are strong enough that you can take the deck panels off, raise the legs, and lift the unit up on shore. If you wanted, you could add wheels at the 16-foot point, but they aren't necessary for installation and removal. On the left here, we show a layout with one 4x4 ramp, one 4x8 section, and then one 4x16 section. On the ramp, we added two short single leg pockets with leg posts and foot pads. The leg posts length will depend on the depth of your water. In the middle, we have two leg pockets with posts and foot pads. Then at the end of the dock, we have two screw legs with poly tires. You would also need to order two infinity track brackets to connect the ramp to the dock and 14 decking panels. On the right-hand side, we have a 4x8 ramp, two 4x16 sections with a 4x8 section and a 3-foot corner section off to the side. You can see we used the caterpillar clips in the middle. The caterpillar clips give the dock more flexibility when you are rolling in and out. Also on this layout, we did not use any leg posts or foot pads. By doing this, you can simply hook onto shore and pull the entire dock out. On the left, we have a straight wheel-in section with two sets of wheels. Again, we used caterpillar clips to give a little flexibility when you're taking the dock in and out. On the right, we show how to use the double L-brace on the purple line going all the way across. The double L-brace spans underneath the dock, or you can simply add wheels or legs on that center 4x8 section. You don't need to use both of those when you have a double L brace. Here is a quick exercise for you to practice. Please pause this video and come back when you are done.
To begin, we need one 4x4 ramp, one 4x8 section, and one 4x16 section. We will need four of the regular infinity leg pockets and two short single leg pockets back by shore. Also, two 5-foot legs and two 7-foot legs. For out at the end, the standard screw legs will work in 5 feet of water. Always be sure to double-check what size screw legs you will need for a job. Two poly tires for the screw legs. For those ramps, we will need two RS7 accessory brackets. Then, the 14 deck panels to complete the job. Here is another exercise for you to practice. Please pause this video and come back when you are done. To begin, we need two 4x16 sections, a 4x8 section, and a corner. In the 3 feet of water, we are going to use shallow water screw legs, which will also need poly tires. Over the 5 feet of water, we will use the standard water screw leg with poly tires. In the 7.5 feet of water, we will use the deep water screw leg, again with poly tires. We also have two caterpillar clips at the junction of the two 4x16 sections. It gives us a lot of flexibility when we are pushing and pulling the dock. Finally, we have the 20 deck panels plus the corner section. Thank you for joining us today for the Shoremaster Infinity Dock Pricing Training. If you have any questions, please contact the Waterfront Brands Customer Support Team.